anyway, I think that's probably it. He's that glorious boy. It's been a while since we've seen him in his full majesty. Uh, I really hope the guards don't rock up now. This would be kind of awkward if I have to fa face them without my hammer. Why did I... <laughs> why did I open my mouth? Why did I say that? Come at me then. <coughs> Bruh. What? <laughs> Gee, that was quick. Oh, I only just started. Through my entire library of games that were actually currently installed, and went, <laughs> and I was terrified. Here on the ward, back alley by the market. You're supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you want. Too many people died this day. You don't get to walk away. Oh, I didn't realize we were actually just gonna do that. I thought it was going to be like, you don't deserve to live, but I don't have a choice or something. And he was going to get to survive. I didn't realize we were actually going to be able to just murder him. I'm so much happier with that outcome. You really know how to pull a guy off? I'm extremely adept at pulling guys off. Hopefully no one clipped that either. That's a penis. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you talking about? And oh, wow. Wowzers, that's a big rock. I resent that. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, it's a, it's a little face, look. This is his mustache, and then we're gonna do like a mouth under there or something like this. Get your mind out of the gutter. I have no idea what you're talking about. This is the one? This is the one. Alright, here we go. Here we go, chat. What if I did this? <laughs> be careful! Yeah, sorry. So I'll, 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 sorry, I'll be more careful. So I'll, I'll be, I, I'm really clumsy. Um, this happens all the time. I'm so sorry. I, I really need to be more careful. Oh, I don't know how this has happened. I'm so sorry. We are not afraid of you. Come at me then. <coughs> Bruh. Gee, that was quick. Oh, I only just started. Never happened. Or did it? You cannot just give me scuba and run. <laughs> I don't have a shulker out of my swear. Or maybe I do, but I'm running. I can't get it. You're not running oh, anymore, not son. Running. You can't just give people scuba and run away like that. You've been well, sacrificed. Someone gave, someone gave me the scuba, though. Well, you shouldn't have then given it to the police. <laughs> You cannot just give me scuba and run. <laughs> I don't have a shulker out of my swear. Or maybe I do, but I'm running. I can't get it. You're not running oh, anymore, no. son. You can't just give people scuba and run away like that. You've been well, sacrificed. Someone gave, 
Someone gave me. Hey, I've been looking for you. Well, here I am. Surprise! Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Adam, hello there. Claire, welcome. Nick, how you doing? Oh, it's been a long day. It's been a long old day and I am so tired. <laughs> welcome to... Should we play that game one day? Maybe. The first one is apparently a lot better than the second one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I had a, a long day today. A, a frustrating day because... I don't know, I felt like I was going to get a whole bunch of stuff done. And I just straight up didn't get anything done. <laughs> Which is very disappointing. Everything seemed like it was going to be fine. And then I just got stuck on doing one task that I wasted so much time on. And at the end of it, I was just like, I don't like it. And I deleted it. So I just wasted like the entire day and achieved nothing. On the, on the flip side though, I did get um, my replacement fans from Corsair today. Um, I haven't said this on stream, but one of my fans is making a heckin' loud noise. Not while I was- not any time while I was streaming, it was always- it always happened, like, during the day when I wasn't on stream. At least it didn't get in the way of that. Uh, but it was making a really loud noise. So, I, um, sent in for an RMA, and I just got the, um, the replacements today. And it was actually really, really satisfying, because I took the, um, I took the computer apart to put in the new fans. And when I put in the new fans, I like rearranged a few things a little bit better and I like cleaned out some like I, I created some more airflow for the fans to actually work and you know those little slots in the front of your computer that block off where the optical or the optical bays and stuff are one of those was never sitting correctly it was it always just kept falling out and I got it to sit in perfectly and it just mm, it just it touched my soul in such a way and now, I actually don't hate my computer quite as much. And I think, theoretically, the, um, the, uh, the fan situation should be a little bit better. Because I think last time I had two fans sucking and one fan blowing. But I think I had them in, like, not optimal Ooh, positions. Bye. Whereas now, they they suck at the bottom, and blow at the, the back on the top. So the hot air should rise and then leave. They take in nice cool air at the front, and then it goes... Yeah. At least I achieved something, I guess, question mark. Also, hello Crips, how you doing? What the? That's, yeah, that's an adequate summation of life, I guess. I make a lot of noise, am I the fan? Uh, depends. Did you get replaced today? Because I did replace you today. Or I replaced the fan today, anyway. The one that wasn't working. Modern cases don't actually have the 5.25 bays most of the time. Oh, my case is about 15 years old, Crips. <laughs> Mine is not a modern case. It has... Yeah, it has... Three of the three of the optical bay drives, and uh, they have the little little patches across the front or whatever. And I broke one of them. Like I I broke the receiving pins. That doesn't really make sense. But the ones that held it in place on the case side, on one of the bays, and then I switched where the position was of that bay. Uh, of the of the panel rather. And I was like, oh yeah, that should fix it. But it never went back in properly. But today I actually took time to like properly look at it and got it back in and clicked it in place. And it was like, oh, felt good. <clears throat> oh my. I always get replaced. Well, 
Is your name is your name Corsair FN? Hold on. No, I don't have the box here. Uh, FM120 AF2639. I, I don't know what it's called. Because that's that's the one I replaced. Oh, that explains it. Yeah, nowadays, like literally zero cases have have actual five to five base slots. Well, I think you'll find the cheaper ones still do. Because I think I looked at cases and most of the cases I saw on there were identical to the same ones I could get 15 years ago. But they're just much on the cheaper end. <clears throat> Cause like I have an I do actually have a, a disk drive in my PC. But it's not actually hooked up. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Like, I, I don't remember the last time that I used a CD or a DVD. Where was the last time anyone used a CD or a DVD? Be realistic now. I, I genuinely don't think I've used one in about... I was going to say 10 years, but maybe, maybe 3 or 4 years. Because I did have Civ 5 on disc. A couple years ago. Several years ago. And I did actually, because it was, for some reason, to buy it on Steam was a hundred bucks. To buy it from EB Games was twenty bucks. So obviously, I got it on disc. <laughs> but other than that, when have you ever used a CD? It's wild. Uh, if you actually find one with the an optical bay. It's either uh, used from 20 years ago. Or you're really lucky. No, I think you're just looking at the. Um, I think you're just looking at the higher end cases because when I look on the the site that I get most of my um, PC equipment from, there's still a bunch of them that have optical drives. They're just cheaper ones. You just get the cheap ones. CDs nuts. Got them. You did. You did get them. <sighs> I will never emotionally recover from this. Other than DVDs on the DVD player or putting them in the Xbox question mark? Yeah, no, I mean I mean um I mean mainly for PC. I mean to be fair, like I guess I guess for consoles, okay, I guess for consoles there's an argument there that up until the most recent generation you've still been using discs. But not many, not that many people even still do use DVD drives because of streaming services. Uh, but like, I swear no one uses CDs with a PC anymore. Like, there's just no point. You can get everything online. Either, like, via cloud or streaming something somewhere, somehow. It's just, there's just very little. Or you get, you use USB which is much better so there's very little reason to actually use a disc on a computer anymore <clears throat> looking at the cheapest one on PC Park Picker I saw one with a 525 bait really man I'm, now I'm curious so if I look at PC case gear which is our more local one Maybe it's... I don't think it's been that long since I... Okay. To be fair, I don't think I've built a computer in a while. As in from the ground up. Because this case that I've got now is the one that I used for a computer a very long time ago. I'm still using the same case. So, I don't know. Maybe. Let's have a look. I haven't got a CD DVD player inside my computer. Yeah, most people don't. Uh, if I go down to the low ones, like the price low to high. I did see someone mentioning that they almost always level their ESO desk inside their PC. Level their... Oh, <laughs> they've got an Elder Scrolls Online disc? Is that even a thing? This first one here has an optical bay. It's only got one, to be fair. Second one, I'm not actually showing my screen, but I'm just looking at it. Second one doesn't. Third one does. Fourth one doesn't. Fifth one, I think does, but it's hard to tell because it's got a massive panel over the front of it, but I'm pretty sure that lifts up. 
and there's a uh, a bay in there. Oh, there's still a couple. Maybe it's just like maybe it's maybe it's the region. Because this other one down here. I mean, to be fair, they used to all have like three or four of them. All of the ones that I found here that do have an optical bay in them only have one. But yeah, this is like the $40, $50 end of the spectrum. There's like a bunch of them with one bay in. Oh, it definitely still exists, at least on this place, I guess. Maybe they're just behind the times. Uh, with computers, if you absolutely need drive for discs, they make external ones. Yeah, exactly. That's why I sort of just don't really bother that much anymore. Just grab one from like Best Buy, hook it up with USB and done. Yeah, well, when they... It was funny, because I used to work in a in an IT store, and back when they started rolling out MacBook Airs, everyone was, like, worried. They're like, what am, where am I going to put my disc? What do I... How do I put my disc in the computer? And they, like, sold external drives, and it was, like... It was, like, a recommended sell with the external drive or whatever. Um, and, you know, back then, you know, people still did use discs a bit. And then, five years later, nobody has a disk drive. <laughs> like, that was probably ten years ago now, but... Uh, not quite that long, but... Yeah, a couple years on from that point, like, when the MacBook Air started rolling out, we just got rid of them. We just got rid of them. <clears throat> Maximizing space for fans. I mean, to be fair, that's not a terrible idea, honestly. I've got three fans in, not including my CPU fan. And that does, and that's the most fans I've ever had. I've only, I've only ever had a CPU fan and like one case fan that came with it because I've only ever had like low or mid to low range uh, specs. But now that I'm using uh, a 3060, which produces a lot more heat than any of the other ones I've previously used, I've actually got more fans in. My PC has two spots for CD thingies. Woohoohoo! You've either got a really old computer, or it's a... It's a, a rare one. Found it so weird installing an OS using a USB stick for the first time. That was so weird, right? I know I'm, I'm definitely feeling like an old man right now, but... Yeah, absolutely. Like, when Windows 10 came out... And, like, it came out on a USB? Everyone's like... What do you mean it's not on a CD? <laughs> Feels weird, man. Like, it, it was even... It was less weird downloading it than it was installing it from a USB. Like, it just felt wrong. It just felt wrong. But now, you know, it's mostly downloaded or... Yeah, via USB, I guess, for OS installs. Now it just holds hard drives. My hard drive bays are below my optical bays. On my one, I've got like four, uh, three point, three point five, three point five bays below the, the optical ones. You have more fans than that? Stop it. You're wrong. Stop it. I have. Oh well, yeah. Right, okay. I have four. You, I have the four people that are in the chat right now. Uh, I only have a single fan, but I'll probably get way more on my rebuild when I get around to that. Yeah, if you're, like, when you, when you need to use more modern hardware, like when you're starting to use, uh, the equivalent of, a, like, a 20 or a 30 series NVIDIA, so whatever AMD equivalent is, you, you need to, like, kind of start worrying a, a bit more about, um, cooling. Because I've, like, literally never worried about cooling until this system build. And then I was like, yeah, probably shouldn't probably shouldn't let my 3060 roast the computer. And to be fair, I think out of what's currently quote-unquote modern-ish, the 3060 isn't that, that bad. But it's still a lot more than, like, the 1060 that I was rocking before that. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know how many blank DVDs and CDs Adam and I collective have collectively together. Man, I remember when like my dad and then my brother and then even myself at one point had all these spindles, like these 
you know, a hundred disc spindles of like blank CDs and DVDs and you would burn everything to the CDs and DVDs. It feels like a completely different time and it was like, it was only like 10, 15 years ago, but it feels like just completely different world at this point. I was like, should I install a CD-ROM and burn a disc or can I just boot it from a USB? Right? It's like, will this work? Is that how it works? Can I just do that? That's not feel right. Selling off USB is normal uh, these days. Put the install tool on it too, shove it in a new PC and go. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's definitely normal now, but it went... Because we're old farts, back in the day, it was always from a CD or a DVD or whatever, and then going to a, a USB just felt alien. Like, we use USBs for other stuff, usually transporting um, games that we found on the 7 Cs, but not for installing an OS. That just felt weird. Yeah, I'm focused on cooling in every regard on the rebuild. Multiple fans, equal air pressure setup, and air an airflow optimized case. Especially after the incident that you had with the incineration. I can imagine you would be. <laughs> that'll, um, that'll be a high priority, I imagine. Uh, it's definitely normal, but after many years of installing via CDs and DVDs, it was weird when I first did it. Exactly. Exactly. 100%. Fair point, I'm a bit younger than y'all. <laughs> It's fine. I'm only turning 31 in three days. It's fine. It's fine, guys. I don't feel like I'm going down a downward slope at all. Like switching from disc to C uh, CD DVD was less weird. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, even like that transition was like felt like the next evolution. But going from CD DVD to USB, like. Mainly, again, mainly just for OS installs. Just felt weird. Anyway, I think we've uh, travelled down Nostalgia Avenue <laughs> enough. I mean, we can keep talking about it while we're in the game, but I think we actually get into the game. If it will load, will it load? Will it blend? It will. I'd like to point out as well that... Before we even get into the game, I was perusing the menu beforehand. Look, it's still not perfect, but they've definitely made this menu a lot more navigable. Because before, you could like press up here somewhere and it would get the settings menu. <clears throat> and then you go over, well I guess it still kind of does it a little bit. But if you're actually on top of the item, like if I go down here, all the way over here, it's still selecting the settings, whereas before, it, this was selecting the language. Because <laughs> it was it was just really inaccurate. Now they've still got pretty large hitboxes, but if you're on top of them, it activates. Hold on, I think... Um... No, she's actually used the keys. Amazing. All right, um, I still have like four months until I turn old enough to drink way too much to the point I pass out. Fair enough. Okay, sorry, I have to go for a minute. Yeah, doing good, mate. How are you? Um, <clears throat> other than this annoying, like, bit of uh, cold, ah, oh, it's so annoying. This bit of phlegm is just sitting just in the wrong spot. So every time I go to speak, it like just gets in the way, but it's not like, <clears throat> it's not painful or anything. It's just like, just annoying enough. All right, now remember, we've always got to remember that the <clears throat> toilet paper needs to be in a really like accessible place. What? What are all these different trees? Burial pine. Oh. What's the difference? Content creator trees and normal trees. 
Do these trees create content? Alright, this one right here. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, everyone. I'm a pine tree. It's a content creator tree, everyone. We did it. We made the joke. We're the funniest people alive. We did it. Ah, uh, he seems to be. Okay. Please, can we take advantage? I don't know what everyone else is doing, but. If he can stay glitched like this, I'm happy. No, 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 don't. I see you there, you prick. No, I can see you. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Just got to take some painkillers, got a bit of headache, and then we'll get into it. Why is setting a cup? I don't know, because you set the cup, the cup down on the table? Don't think about it for too long, because then you'll realize that you set everything else down on a table as well. But it's- that's- look, I've, I'm- I'm reaching. I'm almost 40. I feel like I'm almost 40. I'm turning 31 in a couple days and I feel like I'm 40. It's alright, life starts at- 50? Is that what they say? I think it changes depending on the person who's saying it and how old they are. Mmm, strawberry milk. At least according to US law, I gotta be 21 to drink. I'm 20 now. It's so weird that that's, like, that's just... It just seems so weird to, like, literally everywhere else in the world. It's like in Europe and in um, and over here, it's like 18 to, to drink, to drive, to vote. And then America's like, <coughs> you know, I think you can start driving. I don't know all the rules, obviously, in America, but you know, you've got 16 for some things, 18 for others, and then 21. And it's, um, yeah, it just seems funny. Prohibition era politics. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally it, right? 16 to drive, 18 to vote, 21 to drink. I thought that's what it was. I just wasn't sure. All right, here we go. Let's jump in. Yeah, man. Prohibition really messed you guys up. All right. Here's the city we have. I might... um. And the volume's down pretty low already, but maybe we drop this a little bit. Man, I gotta remember how to even play this. Doesn't it also depend what state you're in? So I saw something about Texas that a child was able to drink younger than 21. Yeah, I think that's like especially a thing for America that every different state has like fairly vastly different laws. Oh, was there water here before? Man, I've really got to... <coughs> oh, that's right. We called it New Hell. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I've really got to figure out how to play this game again. Ah, oh, they still didn't fix that, annoyingly. They say you're only as old as, as you feel. Well, I've been... Well, I feel like I've been exhumed from the tombs of Egypt, given a cup of coffee, and then sent the word. Uh, yep. It do be like that. Ooh, Taoist, Buddhist, Ancestral... A Jade Mine. I don't know if I've had that before. Wait, do they not collect fish in the winter? I don't know what that... I don't know what that means. Um, where is... We're looking for a tavern, is the next thing we need to build. It'll be civil, I'm assuming. Technically, driving is restricted a good deal until you're 18, though. Yeah, like here we can get, um, like... 
learners at 16, but then we're not allowed to drive on our own until we're 18. Some states are different, though. There's tapped food. Wait, is that a tavern? No, that's a guest house. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, oh, for rotate. Let's put it there. I think that makes sense. Let's just put a rotate in there. Why not? Where's <laughs> from state to state, but we had curfews and driving where I gave up. Curfews? Huh. Could not drive in the night. Wow, for us it's like literally the opposite. Like you actually, you have to specifically get like a hundred day driving hours and then 20 night driving hours. I think it's actually gone up the amount of hours you need now. Um, but you like specifically have to get night driving hours. Should we get Archer Towers? We probably should. Aesthetic things? That's very cool. Not gonna do that. Um, fitness of fiddle. Content. They want... They probably want aesthetic things. Slightly increase happiness. We should maybe build some aesthetic buildings, considering we have no aesthetics whatsoever. Although, we've kind of built everything in everywhere, so I don't even know if we can. Like, I don't really know where it would go. Could you drive at night with an adult, though? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right, okay. 15 for learning, 16 for provisional level 1, 17 for provisional level 2, 18 for full license. That's close to what it is for us. Well, it probably is the same for that, uh, for some states, actually. I know where, the state that I'm in, I'm pretty sure you don't get your learners until you're 16. And then it's... And then I don't think you get the piece until you're 18. What are our resources like? Where are our resources actually? Obscure. Oh, that's that. Oh, it's down here. Right. Plenty of wood. We've got a little bit of resources. What is this? Resources. Forge? Do we have a forge? I don't know if we do. Feels like we're gonna need one, so let's get one. Oh, hold on. There's something else there. Oh yeah, jade mine. Where, how does that work? I don't think we've had that before. Collect raw jade with tools outside the city. Oh, wait. Is that to do with what these things are? I'm gonna put some down here. Oh. Encourage education. Okay, cool. I will. Just gonna put those mines down there and see what happens. So they want me to get schools. What's our population? 319? And we're. <clears throat> so we get another mansion. How do we clear stuff again? This one? There we go. Okay. Okay. Twenty-one. I want to say clay. Uh. 
Uh, oh yeah, they want us to build a second school. Which is civil. So we can build that. You know what? I think I will build that next, actually. Because we do have quite a lot of housing. Like, we're looking at this at the moment. Population expansion. And we're already, like, pretty well over that. So we should be right if we just go to school. What's that thumbs down for? What's going on, buddy? Oh, it's no longer thumbs down. I guess he's happy now. <clears throat> Alright, I want to see if I can get some fisheries. Next to here. Granary. Should I get a granary around here somewhere? Let's just get one there. Just so they don't have to transport food as far. Thank you for the daily pears. Pears? Thank you for the daily pears, Crips. I love pears. I actually don't love pears. Uh, thank you for the prayers. Military. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't have military yet. I don't know if I should replay. What? Man, really trying to relearn a bunch of this. Is that mine? Yeah, okay, that's a mine. I I really wish they would put in the ability to mouse over the tooltips and see what's going on. See what those things mean. Thank you, Nick, for the daily prayers. Hope you feel blessed as well. I love that the coal burner's hut is now, like, in the middle of town. <laughs> Just spewing out black smoke around everywhere. This is the problem we ran into last time, isn't it? We, uh, we don't have enough clay, and I don't think we have access to any. There's one all the way down there, which is so far, and there's one there. Actually, maybe we were bottlenecked by something else last time. It could have been rock that we were bottlenecked by. Stone... Okay. Can we... Is it worth... You know what? I'm gonna do it. I think it will be worth it. Um, how do I remove that one? Because we are gonna need more clay. Oh wait. Oh yeah, the area is inaccessible. Okay. How do we extend that again? Is it just by building roads, or is it by building? other buildings over there oh there's fertile land now was there was there fertile land before I want an academy now I'm assuming that means some more stuff's unlocked oh we got a fish shop Ooh, very nice Pickle shop. A jade refine. Um, an aroma arena. I love the sound of that. People come to pit newfound fragrances again. <laughs> it's a battle royale of fragrances. Uh, Rosemary, I choose you. Lavender, I choose you. That's the game I want to play. Let's play that game. It's like Pokemon, but just with different fragrances. Sounds wild. Alright, we can finally get that mansion we've been waiting for. Let's just put it up there. We don't actually need it, but I felt like 
whatever. We, it is saying insufficient housing increase, uh, unable to accept no, new people though, so. Affected by the happiness of the city, the population increased by 70. Okay. Okay, so now that that road's built, can I build a clay mine here? I can. Okay, so it is, it is to do with the road itself. We can like knock this whole down area down and start putting some new uh, new real estate in there eventually. Because I think we've expanded over this side probably as much as we want to for now. I finished building the ghost and posted it in the Discord. The ghost? What was the ghost? Oh man, let's get the Aroma Arena, shall we? Yeah, let's get the Aroma Arena. I love that. Whatever that is. It's real small. Let's try and get some more people over this side of town. A Mega Blocks Halo Ghost. Man. Is Mega Blocks like Lego? Love that though. Halo Ghost. If I didn't already have like Master Chief, I could definitely go like a a ghost in the back on the shelf. Oh, I've literally only just realized there's a thing that tells you if you have the different uh, buildings. It literally says have one, have two, or whatever, however many you've got. I didn't even realize that was a thing. Also, can I build... No, I probably can't. I was wondering if I could build, like, fisheries here. I don't think I can. Confucius. So we need an academy next, which is... Ooh, 40 and 40. Yikes. That's going to take a while. That is going to take quite a while. How's our water looking, actually? I just forgot that was the thing until right now. I think we only need the water for the farms, if I remember correctly. I don't think we need water up here. But I can't remember exactly. They're, they're celebrating something. I also bought a different Mega Bloks Halo set yesterday, which had a minifigure that was basically the same as my skin from Halo Infinite. You know, my samurai skin. Huh, nice. That's, um... That ties in well, then. A fish shop now. Uh, so I, um, I don't know, I don't know if, uh, I don't know how recently I did it slash said it or didn't say it on stream, but I ordered, um, I ordered that, uh, the thingamajigger, my brain is just not functioning, these meds need to kick in already, I ordered the, um, Oh, mansion still building. The chrysalid. So, we were having problems with the chrysalid, and I, was, I said in a recent stream that uh, it ended up being just cancelled. Uh, so, just completely separate of that, I did a lot of searching, and I finally found one for like 30 bucks. The rest of them were literally, I kid you not, 60 plus dollars. So, I bought the one that was for 30 dollars. It was already in Australia. And... In theory, it says the order is confirmed, so in theory, I should actually have that within a couple weeks, and then I can put that up on the uh, on the shelf. Because yeah, I'm still pretty annoyed that I even had to do that, but I'd I'd be happy to actually get it there on the shelf. 
Okay, so we've got more space for more people now. We should get some more food. What do we have in grain? We've got a lot of fish. We've got some vegetables, some grain. We don't really have any meat or alcohol. Now, we do have a tavern, which gives us alcohol. Oh, that's a tea house. Did I build it? Did I... Did I build it next to the school? That is something I would do. I know I built one. Uh, where is it? Economy? No. No. Did I just miss it? It's gonna be civil. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. Thank you for your patronage, Jean-Luc. You will forever be remembered. Where- I- I must have gone past it like five times. Where is the goddamn... Uh... Bing and Bob Tavern, there we go. Yeah, I have one. Grains to brew alcohol. Okay, in that case, I need to get some some more farmland so that we have plenty more grains to use for for brewing. Um, where should we do the next farmland area? Probably on the fertile land here would probably make the most sense. That means we're going to need some water there. It's not really much. Uh, let's put a stone well down. Can go there. Oh, wait. Can I build a road around that thing? Mm, no. Okay, cancel that. Cancel that. I need to be able to build a road around means it may be a little bit awkward placing, but I'd rather be able to have a road that connects. <sighs> There's also a Hornet and a Razorback, but they are around $40. For like the, the Mega Bloks one. So I have a Ghost and a Mongoose now, although the Mongoose is pretty basic, but the figures are great. Yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to like, I know you said you put the, uh, the Ghost in the Discord, but You'll definitely have to put all of them in the Discord so I can have a have a gander. That sounds good. I like that. Graves, so we're gonna need those eventually. All right, so we're still waiting for. Okay, we got forty clay. Now we just need forty stone, and then we'll be able to build the academy. And you still need to be able to click back on this menu to close it, rather than to reopen it. That still needs to be fixed. Uh, I wonder, should this be housing or more farmland? I think I'm going to put more farmland here and then housing through there. I think that makes sense. And we're going to have to move this log logging cabin, the lumber cabin, up this way a little bit further. Uh, maybe there. So that we can uh, use this space for farmland. And then housing. You know you're pretty old based on how much you need to scroll to find your birth year at an age gate. Uh, <laughs> true. I was I was literally um, can't remember what it was, but I was doing something relatively recently where I had to actually scroll. I I remember not having to scroll at like at all, and then recently I was just like, oh man, I have to scroll through this thing. God damn it. Oh wait. Okay, I get. 
That's a good test. I was wondering if I got my resources back. I did. I shouldn't put that in until I have the academy. That was my next goal. Man, this place is coming together. I don't know if it's like a difficulty that I've got it set on or something, but it's feeling real nice and chill, which I love in a, uh, in a city builder. Ooh, a talent office. Right, suggestions for management. Okay, well that's a, that's a Chinese to English translation if ever I heard one. Oh, we've only got one hunter's cabin. Okay, we should get another one of those. And we should get some ranch. So we do need more meat. I think the people want more variety. Okay, we can get an academy now. Whoa, that's a big boy. That is chunky boy. Boom. Uh, let's get a couple shacks. Just a couple little shacks there for a nice little estate. Next to the Polariot. Whatever that is. Oh, it's just a large warehouse, I think. Okay. Uh, so next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to get... I'll probably knock down some of these trees. You know what? Can we... Because I think... I don't like... I will say I don't like that... The, uh, the box... <laughs> Doesn't make sense with the map. It goes up and down, left and right. But we've got an isometric map, which sort of goes diagonal. So actually, I want to be able to, like, cut out this box here perfectly. But it goes perpendicular to it. I think this isn't the only game that does that. But it always annoys me when that, when the design is like that. It's like such a, like, irrelevant thing, but... It still rustles my jimmies. Alright, we need stone. That was our big problem last time, wasn't it? We have, like... We have some clay that we can get to, which we have now gotten to. But I think we only have one supply of uh, stone. <clears throat> which is this one. And I don't think there's a way to really extract that any quicker. Also, I think I'm actually gonna. I think I'm gonna move the lumber cabin further down here. So I think that's one. Let's remove that. Let's put a shack there. And then let's put in some farms in here. Oh, you know what? We can get a hunting cabin now. Do they need to be built near... I don't know. They just be built anywhere, I think. Uh, thank you for that sexy hydration. I'll get on that in just a second, Nick. Here we go. still making money as well we're making good bank actually look at that tax plus 227 it's pretty legit average life fit as a fiddle but the average lifespan is 34 yikes goddamn middle ages i don't know if this is the middle ages i don't know if that's correlates to the, the time zone that we're in, but yikes. Alright, I want a ranch. Or do I just get another hunting cabin? No, I'll get a ranch. Okay, the academy is underway. So that should be done shortly. What 
What's that mean? Oh, is that what it stores? Uh, learn technologies. Oh, it's telling me to build military. <laughs> it's like, um, buddy, you need some military. Okay, what if I, what if I put a drill square, uh, here, sure. I don't know if that gives me soldiers, or how that works, but I've done it now. There goes any plans I had to building another, um, ranch though. That's expensive. I, I can't afford that anymore. Oh, you can actually... Oh my goodness. So you left click to open the menu and you right click to close the menu. I don't know if that was in there before, but uh, it's still, it's still kind of not very intuitive. I mean, at least there's something, but it really should be just left click to open and then left click to close. All right, all the farms are coming back in. It's a great time to be in new hell. Oh. Open research. Oh, right, that's why he was telling me. Ah, so we're like, wait. But don't I already have all of these? Small guest house. Increase the number of ox carts. Interesting. So the civil. Right, so we do these things and it upgrades them. Issues five coins to each homeless citizen every January so they don't affect the, affect the city's habits. Cool. What do we want to focus on more then? Um Let's go let's go full industry. Provides more jobs. Yeah, because we've been we've been I've been saying that we're not getting enough stone. So if we do that research, maybe that'll help. Wait. Yeah, okay, so we can seemingly we can queue it up. Can't can we cancel it though? I don't know if we can cancel it. Oh. We need scholars. I'm assuming they're people that go to the academy. I feel the gambling itch. I'm buying more mystery keys. <laughs> oh no. This time only 10 as a special deal is over. As the special deal is over. Well. Everyone, send some, some prayers to Adam. Hope that he gets some good keys. Because you guys are the ones that are going to get those keys, potentially. I don't know if you... Look, you might not be... Um, you absolutely don't have to be providing those to the, um, to the stream. Like the other ones. But give, it, give your prayers all the same. Um... Drill square. Oh, right, I actually was building the drill square. Boom. Now they want me to build an archer tower. Not enough resources to recruit. What do I need for it? Oh, silken weapons. Interesting. Okay. We were getting weapons, I think. Alright, let's get an archer tower. Build that there. Hello there. Blessings of Lock upon you. <laughs> In the name of the birch tree, the sapling, and the holy spruce. Upon Adam, yes, upon you, Adam. Your dark devotion. Hey Andy, how you doing? Thank you for your prayers as well. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I, I still want this ranch. I wish there was like a, a research bar that I could look at rather than just it's down in the corner here. 
Yeah, because it's saying scholars required, but I don't really know how I get scholars. Astronaut. Another game. I'm hoping that eventually I'll hear a game that I know. So, students participating in the Imperial exams can increase the Academy's research efficiency. Right. So that helps, but it doesn't... Hmm. I'm not exactly sure why there's no one in there. I don't really know how it works. Got the game last time, so I have two keys right now. I thought it did sound a little bit familiar. Alright, let's get a ranch over here. And then I might get some vegetable farms, even though we have a decent amount. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, don't put those there. Let's put a road through there rather than that. Yeah, that will make more sense. Get some veggies up here. Lovely! And maybe some just normal farmland. Okay, I think I'll leave the rest of that for tree farming. Uh, Min District. Oh, that sounds familiar. Open-ended factory management game with a focus on tower defense and RTS elements. Mm -hmm. That sounds interesting. Super Panda Adventures. Not familiar with that one. Landscaping. Build a street pavilion. Oh. Where do I get a pavilion from? It did just tell me. I know, I am aware that it did just tell me. Don't at me. But I didn't read it, so... I thought it would be under civil. I thought it would be under either civil or aesthetics, but... Oh, there it is. It's just got like a way different look to it than what it uh, did in the picture. Alright, let's get a street pavilion over here, I guess. And then one there as well. Sure, why not? And then let's get some like... Oh, actually, you know what? A mansion can fit there. And then let's put two shacks in. Look at that. Beautiful. Reventure again, Train Valley 2 again. Just ignore them again. <laughs> well, it sounds like we're going to have multiple keys for a few of the games. Which isn't the end of the world. Wow, we have so much clay now. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad I built that other clay mine. But, man, we really don't need any more clay. Hmm. Still... Still not actually researching. It says studying. Do I need more schools? Way out to hex and time loader. Wish there was another quarry I could build somewhere. I I need to know what these things do as well. Like this feels like I can trade with other cities or something. But I don't really know how that works. Textile mill. That gives me silk. And forge gives me iron weapons. Which I should have, I would have thought. Hmm. Sky's the limit. 
Okay, well, I think that's it. that's it for the tutorial. See, this is this is a tutorial that I enjoy. It just sort of told me to to build these things as we were just doing, you know, the the original the first campaign. It wasn't like um, invasive or anything. It was just like, yeah, you should probably build these things, and then I just slowly built those things. And now we have a, a thriving little hell. What's our food like? Well, again, we I built all this new stuff, but we still have a whole bunch of fish and no uh, no meat or veggies. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this city is complete. We finished the city, I guess. No call of wires this game's games this time. True. Okay, so right, so we did that one. Oh, it just gives you right, I think it just gives you fifteen years. Alright. What's the name of our next city? Come on, chat. Give me a name. We're going to start our next city now. New Hell is nice and flourishing. And now it's time to move on. Undercroft? That really feels... <laughs> Chol Chol's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, Andy. Although the, uh, the Undercroft definitely follows a theme... We haven't had Chol Chol come back for a while. New Emperor ascends the throne and new challenges come. Here we go, we're traveling to the new city. Look at us go. Go with Chol Chol, it feels right. It does feel right. Whoa, they suddenly got quick. Um. If you successfully complete the transfer assessment, you be promoted in fast way. Whoa! Uh, it's become to take shape. The court orders that it be transformed to a bustling capital over 500 people within 15 years. Please take it seriously and complete it in a timely manner. Okay. So this time we're given the bones of a uh, of a relatively developed city. Oh, bonus map. Oh! Building bonus. Okay, this is all new. This map's way bigger, hey. I mean, I was pretty... I was pretty contented with our other little city. If I'm honest. We're losing a lot of money. Uh, but... Man, I'm keen... I'm keen to jump into another one and see what we can do. Alright, first up, we need to save the economy. What do we have? We've got two of a lot of these. We don't have a theater yet. So let's get one of those. Nothing brings a city together like the theater. Well, I suppose nukes do. Uh, but we don't have them yet. Uh, let's get a lodge. I want to get... Oh my goodness, no water. Why don't they have water? I'll fix that momentarily. What's our water like? Ooh! It's a big yikes. Can we get a stone well? That would be ideal. Yeah, we can cram one in there. That'd be good. That should be alright for now. It should just be that one. Uh, I want to put some roads in between here. I like having little connections through here, through through uh, these type of areas. I don't like dead end roads if I can avoid it. We're given the bones of a relative. Yeah, the bones of a relative. City. Yeah, yeah. 
of a relatively big city. Yep. Are these thieves? You little. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the bones. Where is the prison at? <laughs> as my first act as the new emperor, it's time to build a prison and put all my citizens inside of it. For they are being naughty and they shall be snuffed out. It's a bold strategy. Let's see if it plays out. Pays off, rather. Right, well, I mean, as things go, the city's actually not in bad shape other than the complete lack of money. Uh, these hunters are really capable. There are many ways to eat me. Oh, okay, so they want us to get... Oh, they want us to build a jerky shop. Okay. Where's that? That must be food. What was that? Why was someone he hemming me? Yeah, maybe it's not there. Guest house. Boom, big guest house. I know, I've already been distracted by fancy, uh, like, shiny new things. But I'm gonna build two big old guest houses. Let's go there. And there. Uh, what was I looking for? Jerky. I do find it a bit awkward to find stuff in this. I'm sure that eventually I will get used to where things are. Is it civil? I mean, a funeral home is a bit like a jerky shop, no? Oh no, it is there. Okay, it is where I thought it was. I just can't build it yet, because I need more population. Okay. Why is he hemming me again? Will you stop that? Uh, oh, we need three ranches. Okay, there we go. Who'd have thought that if you read, you will have knowledge? There we go. And I want to get rid of these rocks. Which I think is under civil. Oh, a talent office. We never got that last time. Look at all this stuff we can get. Uh... Civil? No. Production, maybe? Are you sure they don't want... Are you sure they don't want you to eat people? Uh... No, I'm not sure. I am 100% not certain. Let's get a mansion there. We gotta fill in here a little bit. What are we lacking? We're a little low on fish. So let's just build fish in the middle of the desert. Okay, I know it's not a desert. Uh, no, I guess we get some, some farmhouses in here. And a shack. A little, uh, little estate in there. And then let's just... Let's just fill out these, um... These areas with some plots. Are we making money yet? Oh, we turned it around a lot. We were making like minus 200 and something, I think. And now we're making positive 36. It's because there's... Because we're taxing so many people. <laughs> that's the real... That's the real win. We can get an inn now. Oh, look at that thing. That looks amazing. Oh, there. Where do you think you're going? Celine's not going to like this to build one bit. I wasn't to be disturbed. I'm just building an inn. Relax. Uh, fish. Fish, 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 fish. Let's get some fisheries. And by some fisheries, I mean a fishery. What are we lacking now? We're lacking stone. Okay. Um, I haven't actually looked at 
resources on the map. So I should take a quick peek to see if there's any that I can add to my collection. So there's stone all the way out there. Wow, this is a long boy, this map. There's heaps of... Yeah, there's stone and all sorts out here. More clay, more clay. Some iron up behind this, the rocks there. Nothing that's particularly within reach. Sadly. Oh, yeah, here we go. We've got... We've got little carts coming out of the, um... Coming out of here. Let's... Can we... If we can build them a road, so that maybe they can get there quicker, so they don't have to go through the forest randomly. Maybe that'll help. Ooh, we're in positive money! Yeah, boy! Mansion? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Just look at it! That's going to fit in absolutely beautifully. We've got the three ranches, so now we should be able to build a jerky shop. Man. I'm loving this game. It's got to be said. It's already been said, but it's got to be said again. Nine more months. Okay, so they're actually doing something. Whatever they've got going on in this city, I didn't have. 0% <laughs> of students paid respect to Confucius. Uh... Rude? Staff team. Job vacancy. Go to the talent office to recruit. Do we have a talent office? Was the, Did that come pre-built? We have one, apparently. This is a problem that it came pre-built because I have literally no idea where it is. And I don't... Okay, I, I have found it, to be fair. But other than clicking every building, I don't know how to find it. Also, now I'm here, I can't seem to do anything. See, gossip. Luckily, no gossip in this town. Because if anyone did gossip, I'd cut their heads off. Oh, they need coal. Do we not have coal? Was this city not built with coal mine? It's got one. Okay, well that's not that's not ideal, is it? The size of this city, we should probably have more than a single coal fire. A coal burner hut. Let's put the farmland there. And I wanted these fisheries. There we go. Okay. Things are looking alright. I should try and remember to actually get some aesthetic buildings. But the problem is, one of the big problems with it is, I look at these buildings and I go, damn, that looks aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so I don't think about putting actual aesthetic buildings in. Because I already love the look of them. Like, just the, um, the sort of ancient Chinese style buildings. I love the look of What is that they want? Pancakes? Money? Money full of pancakes? Pancakes full of money? We need more stone. We have so much iron and clay, but just no... Okay, so that is as far as that goes. Uh, no stone. Once again, stone is our downfall. I guess we can try and build... Oh, we can actually... We can actually just go there. Alright, let's crush... Oh, no, I didn't... I actually don't care about this one. Get rid of that one. Let's build a big old road. This feels like this is going to be real inconvenient. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's just do it that way. Just 
This guy's just try just trekking through the wilderness. Just going about his business. Uh, Alright. Uh, we need a quarry, which requires... To we don't have enough wood. Wow, that is a problem we have not had in a very long time. Uh, what is it for the... It requires wood to get wood. Very nice. To be fair, we can just chop, 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 chop us in. That's how you get wood. Oh, look at all these people coming to build the the big the me the mega road. Very cool. All right, we need some more. We only have two lumber camps, so let's get a few more of those. Let's get one down there, and then we're gonna get one like over here, maybe. Somewhere up here. Oh my. Mm. Mm. Thank you for that quote. Gotta remember Steve. Oh. Oh no, my money has suddenly disappeared. Let's take a moment to remember the money that I was getting a moment ago and now I have completely lost. That's the real tragedy here. Um, our fallen dollar bills. This is so sad. This is possibly the saddest that anyone has ever been. I've also just realized that we did actually have a prison. Stay a while and listen. We did have a prison, they just weren't using it. So now we have two prisons. God damn it, one on either side of the city. Enjoy your lurk, Andy. Oh, we have a wheel spin as well. Alright, we'll do that in a sec. Okay, they've built most of this. Wait, did I miss a piece of road? Apparently. Okay, stone time! Need more money. Oh, we don't have an aroma arena yet. Perfect. Yes, the oblivion crisis has ended. <laughs> hey Truman, how you doing? Let's spin the wheel. Let's see what happens. Daily prayers, there you go. There you go, Claire. I hope you are extremely blessed this evening. You have your premium prayers. Mm-mm. Aren't you so glad you spun that wheel? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, how's this game? Really liking it. Actually really liking it. Genuinely. There's a few little things that sort of um, annoy me a little bit. Like the fact that if you click here, and then you click here again, it just reopens the menu. You right click to close it, which is kind of a little bit weird. I I would prefer generally more intuitively is you just click it again and it would close. But it's a right click scenario for some reason. Um, but I mean in the scheme of things, that's like you know, pretty irrelevant, honestly. Otherwise, yeah, really enjoying it. How did you like Dead Space 3? About as much as I like you reminding me that I played Dead Space 3 at all. Which is to say not. I find that very rude. That game can go burn in the same fiery pit that uh, is on screen right now. Because that game is terrible. Now, don't mind me while I build this road. I think we're missing a piece of road here, but I can't... Yeah. I don't think there's a tree in the way, because I think you can still build on trees. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, what is our warehouse scenario looking like? No coal, which is kind of important. I did build one. A coal burner's up. Obviously, we're going to need more. Uh... 
and we still don't really have enough wood either. I think that might be actually the bigger problem. We might be running out of wood to put in the coal burners huts. Wow, this like this figure keeps going around wildly. Oh wow. Either they all got chopped down at once, or it just only loaded that part of the map when I moused over it. Uh, oh! Right. I completely... This, this, um... This research thing needs to be a little bit more obvious as well, when, like, research completes. Instead of just a red pip on the research thing, I need to, like, see something come up to be like, You finished research! Because there's like things over here, like these little notifications here, but you like, you can't really see them. <clears throat> there's really just like, yeah, a few like fairly minor, mostly UI based issues that I have with the game. Uh, but nothing that's like that major. I couldn't build that for so long. There's a criminal! We have two prisons! Lock him up in one of them! Put him to work! Okay, what were we working towards? A jerky shop. It is unlocked now. We need 15 stone. We can get a fish shop. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. We're like trying to focus on something. It's like, oh, fish shop. And a pickle shop, man. I always get distracted by a good pickle. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, our wood's coming back now. Okay, I shouldn't have said that just after I like a good pickle. I'm aware of that now. I've learned from my mistakes. And, uh, I'm not going to change my ways. But I am aware of it. Two criminals! They're multiplying! Where are the police? We've got four officers on duty. We've got eight officers on duty because we've got two of them. Oh, winter's coming. Why are we not catching these thieves? Catch the thieves, please. Okay. Uh, a jerky shop. Here we go. Here we go, chat. Well, let's build that down here near the um, near the ranches. That makes sense to me. Do we still need more stone? Oh, they haven't even built this yet. I wonder. What happens if I build like a bunch of houses down here like if i build a little little workers village down here oh i built the wrong one oops if i build a little workers village down here will they will that make it easier for them to get to work market transaction They want me to do a market trade. Alright. Alright. Where's the market? Well, it had like a icon above it, right? I saw it before. And now that I actually need to find it? No idea where it is. <laughs> no idea at all. They might just not be there at the moment because it's, um... Because it's snowing. Or maybe there's like another icon above it or something. I'm not sure. Sorry, I just have to check to see if this is... Okay. No. Alright, so there's people coming down here. Oh, we've built this now. We've built the quarry. Cool. Minus 358 is, 
People just like Oh we can we can get a loan. Okay. Um people just like pay taxes on a whim in this city. One moment they're just like, oh yeah, the city needs to be able to be built. Sure. Give them all my money. Neck minute. The government is is the devil. The government is trying to kill me. Wow, we have a lot of clay for only having one clay mine. It's wild. Um... What are we looking at? Market trade. Okay, so it's not winter anymore. I know it was around here somewhere. How's our health right now? Five. Okay, it's fine. I guess. We have a market somewhere. Oh, look at the academy go. What's the carry? There's a bazaar. That's that's basically a market. No. Where is the market? If anyone sees a market, please mark it on the map. See what I did there. Um, should we get another theater? Where's our other theater? Is it over there? Oh, it's over that side. Okay, perfect. So let's put one here then. Okay, so we've put down a bunch of houses here with the hopes that maybe we can entice people to go and live there by giving them gardens. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> or should I say, garden? Or maybe some bushes. We can af we can afford some bushes. And wow, it requires stone to build the tree. Okay, fair enough. Bamboo and a pavilion. There we go. So we can get everyone moved in down here. I, again, I don't actually know if the, um, if the distance to a workplace actually makes a difference, but I'm just going to assume that it does. And I'm going to build a little estate down there. Also, if that, if that lightning could go away, that'd be real nice. Man, they, they still need lots of coal. Oh my goodness, we're losing money again. Yeah, we're still out of coal. Let's get some more coal burners huts, I guess. Build one there. And build one there. Seems like a good place. And maybe just to stay on top of it, we'll get another lumber cabin or two. Maybe just one. Oh, the academy's free. Alright, the coal mine is the thing that keeps stopping, so... Provide some more jobs. Okay. That's the thing that keeps running out. So we may as well get that. Lumpkin. Uh, should we? We should build one like over here somewhere. Because I think it also grows trees in the location. So I think that wouldn't hurt. We got these two massive inns as well. I've, I've just realized that I built an inn across from where there already was an inn. Where is this market trade? Uh, 
Green versus the bush. You can build relevant buildings to ensure three minutes. Yep. Regardless. Lucky I'm not making you swim. To find the market? Or. Regardless of resource overflow or shortage, you can buy and sell at the color equals hashtag A63D2E market. Adjusting the quantity of resource through transactions. Please pay attention to the buy and sell sign appearing on the market to conduct buying and selling transactions in the corresponding market. Okay. That's very cool, especially the... Uh, Equals hashtag A to B six market, but I don't know where it is. I can't see. To... Is it supposed to be the bazaar? But I don't seem to have any options when I go to the bazaar. Does he think the market would appear in? The economy tab. Now nah, that's too bizarre. You did it. We can all go home now. The jokes have been made. Oh, we can get a mill. We haven't got one of those yet. Let's do that. We have reached peak. Still need a good old pickling. Battle of Gaoliang River. Okay. This is not within the borders very well at all, but. It's made his escape in a donkey drawn wagon. The Song forces eventually had to retreat. Okay. Was that, um. Is that just a bit of actual history or. Was I supposed to do something with that knowledge? Should I be building defenses? <laughs> Where is the market? Market trade. How do I do that? Well, that... Okay, so that... That location... That thing that he's selected there is definitely a bazaar. Oh, here we go. I can get some takeout. Here we go. Let's get some takeout. Oh, that didn't work. I don't rightly know how to, like, interact with some of these buildings. Because it says I can do it via there, but I don't really know how. I'm like, I obviously have to be missing something, but does anyone know what it is? Because it tells me here... Is it only if I have an overflow that I can do a trade, maybe? All of our jobs seem to be fulfilled. Oh wow, no one's working the ranches. Uh, we should just get more people, I think. Let's just see if the, the problem resolves itself by adding more people to the problem. Because we all know that's how problems get solved. By adding more people. Okay. How's our food looking? Kind of fine. We do need some, maybe some more fish and some more grain. Oh, okay, yeah, I think this is definitely new. It'll only let me build the farms in specific places. Whereas last time, I'm pretty sure I was able to build wherever I wanted. So we can build all three here. Gotta run out. But I can't build there, so they're gonna have to be like houses there. I'm gonna 
have to check if we have water here. We don't have water there. So we have to build a, a water fountain there. Oh, well, well, well. Okay, that's all of that. Oh, it's winter! I've, I've done it again! I've built all the farms just as winter hits. God damn it! How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, but come on now. Um, funeral home. Need those. Uh, civil, right? And then we need... Oh, 30 stone? Maybe not. That's not going to work very well though. Well, actually, you know what? I did literally have space specifically there, so I guess that actually makes sense. What are these people doing? You just set up a little market stall. Just in the middle of the field. Okay, we've got more research we can do. Um, official kiln. Where is the one? I thought there might be. Oh, we already did quarry. Right. I was like, I was looking for the quarry. Let's get better coal mining efficiency. <laughs> no, apparently there's no students. <laughs> it just keeps saying zero people did anything. Sag. Well, I guess people... Oh, actually, no, I don't know that anyone is living down there. Oh, well. We're making money. That's good. We can put some stuff in here. Put a road there to connect that. What do we need? We need a market trade still. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Complete transaction. I did it. Oh, wait, hold on. No, I didn't. Complete transaction. So I guess we have to have the amount required. There we go. We did it. And I guess that just pops up. Weird. Front kiln, jade mine. What don't we have? I need to build like one of everything. Yeah, I've kind of got most stuff now. We need an immortal manifestation. <laughs> Whatever that means. It sounds terrifying. We need Buddhist, which we don't have. No one tangles with Kurdan. Remember that. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for an immortal manifestation. So we need... Hey, it's all in Chinese! Okay, Buddhist temple color. Uh, <laughs> that's clearly not working. Alice Temple. Well, we already have a Taoist Temple, so let's make a Buddhist one. Let's put that there. Put it right on top of that dude's market stall. Rip that guy. So, apparently I already have some different... What's this? Oh. Okay. At the ancestral, you can like put in points of some kind to like 
increase productivity in certain things something I guess we'll see how that plays out Ah, oh, good. Winter's gone. These damn thieves are still here, though. Can somebody deal with these thieves? Or do I need another prison? Oh my goodness, look how big that stock is. I know it's just closer to the camera, but it looks enormous. Okay, I need a pickle shop. And I need or something else I needed. I don't remember what it was there. What's the temple which we just built? Maybe that's it. Uh yeah, I was gonna try and find where the Confucianism temple was. What does it look like? Oh, what do they need? Tools, maybe? Should we get a forge? Forge iron tools or weapons can alter production cues as necessary. Well, there's only one thing that's requiring that, so maybe not worry about that. Are these people angry? Oh, they're gone now, so I can't tell. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of wrath for some reason. Ruins, enemy invasions, crimes. Yeah, it'll be the crimes. It'll definitely be the crimes. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about it, though. Constables are high to patrol and crouch. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it is just that, but they're not doing their job. Maybe I just build a third one over here. See how they like them apples. Uh, you know what? Let's build it behind that. And then build one little farm, or two little farms there. <coughs> again the upkeep is pretty savage the business is not making it back we could up the tax our tax is only at, well it's at 20 percent at the moment so we could up the tax or we could build more mansions i say we build more mansions because why wouldn't you do that Alright, just shacks there. We'll be fine. Wait, is that a rock? It is a rock. Get rid of it. No rocks in my city! It costs five rocks to remove a rock. What backwards economy is this? Should I not be getting rock? From destroying the rock? Eh? I don't think it's worth it. Alright, here we go. This is the... Oh, it's not built yet. Okay, never mind. It's not built. Um... Oh, you can! That's what that means! You can search for them. Okay. We can do a little sacrifice. Okay, interesting. So if I select that, will they now just gather it? Gather it. Okay, we're making sac we're we're sacrificing jade at the Taoist um the Taoist temple. Does anyone know a jade? Because they're about to be sacrificed. My condolences. What's this? 
What is that? Tea? What's that? Not tea? Alcohol, maybe. I don't know. Let's do... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm assuming that's tea. In that case, we're going to need some more... Tea places. Tea house. Is it tea? Maybe it's not tea. What is that? How do I know what these things are? They need an appendices. Okay, well one of them one of them was silk, so maybe we just make it silk because I know how to get silk. I build the textile mill. Which is 45 stone! Yikes! The other thing might have been easier. Oh wait, it actually is easier. It's the fault kiln. Okay, I can see it now. What's the other one? The other one's like a... Oh, it's that. It's the spice shop. Okay, cool. I'll definitely read that. Um, that requires... I think I'm better to do this... The bulk kiln? Because... Yeah, <coughs> that produces... I don't know, I think this will just be better for our people. And I'm all about things that are better for our people. Said no one ever. Tiled house in there. Let's just fill in all these gaps with houses. Just shacks all the way down. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, you know what? We can we can even splurge a little bit here and put a pagoda tree in here. No, let's put some bamboo in there. Aren't I a kind and generous leader? I build trees for my people. What do you do? Do you build trees for your people? I didn't think so. Ancestral protection. Oh yeah, I did that before. Uh, like, kind of accidentally. Is it just any of them? Okay, building bonus. Uh, more ancestrals are past the accumulation of blessings? Mm. Unexpected bonus effects this time. Show you how to do it the right way. Please build a tea house and bamboo adjacent to each other. Obtain to the buff effect. Ah! So if you build certain objects and buildings next to other certain objects. <coughs> excuse me. And buildings, they get uh, little buffs. That is good to know. To immediately forget and not follow up correctly. Uh, economy? Tea house. Okay, so we want to build a tea house right next to some bamboo. I did, I literally just put bamboo here, but there's no space. Let's put it down here, because I have a bamboo down here. Let's give these people down here a, a tea house. Wait, is that a turtle? Oh my god, it's a turtle! You can't teach an infant... What do you... Are you seriously pissing me off? You can't teach an infant sense... No, you can't read any of this. But apparently you click on the turtle and he says things to you. I don't know, I don't know where we got this speaking turtle, but hey. There's a turtle. There's a holy turtle or something, I guess. Let's, should we, you know what, let's have a guest house down here as well. Oh, I see. That tells me where they go. Okay. We don't have any porcelain. How do I get porcelain? Well, like, how do I... How do 
How do I get the stuff that I need for the boat kill? So I did build two of them. Right, I keep forgetting that I can literally zoom in. Uh stay a while and listen. Hey popcorn, enjoy your luck. So they need clay. I'm assuming they need clay and coal. And they produce the stuff. So we've got some so we, we need more we need more coal again. We just keep running out of coal. Can we improve it any further? We've we've literally completed it as far as we can. Increase basic happiness. You know what? We should probably do that. <coughs> Make people just that little bit happier. Yeah, they've got, so they've got clay. So we need, oh, we can get a bigger mansion. <laughs> we need clay for the people to be warm during the winter. Oh, I can build a mansion. I think you all know what I'm going to do. I'm going to obviously build the mansion. There's a new type of mansion and I'm building it. You can't stop me. We should probably build another apothecary as well. We've still got criminals! We have three prisons! Unvaried diet? How have we got an unvaried diet? We've got like... We've got loads of stuff. Look, we've got grain, we've got veggies, we've got fish, we've got meat, we've got alcohol. We've got a, a balanced diet. What was I doing? I was I was actually I was doing something. I was gonna get more coal burners huts. That's what I was doing. Oh look at that. Perfect space for one right there and one right there. Cool. Easy. Easy clap. Those people are giving me the thumbs up. Still no bowls. Building bonus. Oh right, yeah. Uh, did we did we end up doing that? It's building now. It's almost done. Okay, wonderful. So we should get that soon. We're getting close to the population that we're aiming for as well. We've got weapons. We've got tool. Yeah, it's just coal that we're lacking, really. else do we need? One of those. We only have one jewelry store. I don't know if we need any more at the moment. Uh, we'll just wait for this building bonus, I think, and then see what it asks us to do next. Ah, oh, good. People actually live down here now. All it took was a garden, some bushes, and a piece of bamboo. Who'd have thought all it took for people to work down in the mines was some bamboo and some bushes? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What is that saying? Is that saying that it's... Ooh? These bloody thieves! What are the prison people doing? What are the constables doing? Do we need to, like, invest in better constables? Where's prison? How do I make prison better? I mean, it's not causing... We could get a brothel. 
it's not causing a particular issue at the moment. And as a matter of fact, it has gone down. There's only a one grievance now. Hungry population. What? How is that? How is that true? Oh, you know what? I bet they just don't have access to a bazaar. I bet that's it. Um, where are the granaries? There's two of those. Okay, there's not really any over this side. So I'm going to build a granary there. Eliminate rumors. Oh. Is that here? Oh! That's what it means by bonus map. It's a map of the bonuses that you can get. Which we learn as we go. Okay. Cool. Alright. We're going to build some... Bazaars, I think. Um, I also want to get... What was the other one? It was like a, a, a fish shop? Yeah, let's get a fish shop. Let's get a fish shop down here. Right, right next door to the actual... We're, we're catching them straight from the lake and then just hoiking them up here to be sold. I think, you know, the farm to table, except it's <coughs> it's a lake to table. Uh, what was the other thing I was looking for? A, um... A bazaar. Where is the bazaar? And you would think I would eventually remember where anything was. There it is. 20 stone. Yikes. Alright, I guess we just wait. We just wait for some stone. I think that's the the only option here. <sighs> we could get one. Oh my goodness, our stone's gone. Where did our stone go? You can get one, but I do want to get another here, because then we get that we get that bonus. So that gives us more tourist consumption. That one. And this one gives us yeah tourist consumption as well. Okay. You would think I would know where things are by now? Nonsense! We would never think that. I'm glad that you guys have such faith in me. There's still a criminal in the city! God damn it! Oh, I think I somehow got rid of that rumor? I'm not exactly sure how I did that, but... Encourage students to take the exam. So I have to click on the school and tell them to do the exam? Question mark? Is this the school? Yeah, it's the school. Is there no students in this school? That, yeah, there's literally there's no students in school. I probably can't tell them to take the test, can I? Why do none of my schools have any students? No wonder we're so stupid. Nobody's... Nobody's taking any exams. We're all idiots. The criminal is you. Oh, god damn it. It's Clarence. Uh, uh, I mean, I can't fault that. I, I can't. Okay, they are the only two schools I have, and nobody is going to them. So I can't make anyone take the exam when there's no one at the school in the first place. Why is there no one at the school? So there's always going to be at least one criminal. Not necessarily. Exam time 31 months. Oh, is that when the next exam is? Not for how long the exam takes. Yikes. That's a big one. Uh, 
thing being fulfilled yet? No, they're still not getting anything. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I think I can get another granary, though. If I could remember where it was. There we go. Uh, not granary, bizarre. Okay. Twelve stone, and we can get another mansion. I think I'll do that. Let's just build this road through here. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine like that. Yeah, I guess that's getting people in. Pretty cool. West in China, down in Chow Chow, country, something, that's not how it goes, something, something, beautiful, alright, another mansion, here we go, chat, here we go, let's put it in like that, boom, more mansions, look at all these mansions we've got, the people are starving, but we have mansions, Oh no, so they are... We have punished the criminal, apparently. But they're still complaining about an unvaried diet. I... You know what it is? They want pickles, don't they? They want pickles. I... Honestly, I can't... I can't blame them. I too want a giant pickle in my mouth, sometimes. It's just... It's just nature. They want you to allow cannibalism? Uh, let me see, is that a policy that I can enact? Uh, I can get a farmhouse, is that the same thing? Uh, let's get some of the homeless people off the street. Just because they get in the way. Or maybe they're the ones that become the thieves. Making decent money. That tax level is pretty good. The amount of tax. It's almost 600 bucks from tax. Population control and varied diet in one step. Well, I mean... That is one way to do it, I suppose. Probably not the way we're gonna go, but... Hey, wait, hold on. We do have a bunch of pottery, so why... Why are you not... Why are you not eating the pottery? Reduces crime rate in nearby buildings and sends monks out to solicit donations. Why are you not doing it then? Is it because I have the Taoist one going? Do they not like the two competing religions? Surely you jest. Okay, let's let's uh, shove a pickle in here. Shove a big old pickle in between those two mansions. Man, I don't know. I don't know why this thing's not working. Can I just switch it to something else? I I put a lot of investment into that um into that whatever you call it. Oh, I don't know, man. I invested a lot into that. Nothing happened. There's still no one at school. Why is there no one at school? I mean, I can hear them. I can see them. Oh, no, that's a baby. That's a person holding a baby. Send them to school. Make them take the exam. Why are they missing a leak? What? Do they not have vegetables to sell? 
We have vegetables. Maybe they just, maybe just because it's winter and it just hasn't been delivered yet. Let's put some more in here. Just to be on the safe side. Some of those bad boys. Because it's snowing, they have a snow day. But, but it hasn't been snowing for the rest of the year and they still haven't been at school. There's one teacher on duty, and there's just no students. I don't know what I'm... Job vacancy go to the... Job vacancy. Recruit staffs. Ooh, celebrity invite. Ooh, sure. Uh, you. And you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I don't know what I just did, but I... I just hired a whole bunch of people. Sick. Talent. Talent, everyone. That wasn't in the tutorial! Actually, I don't think there even is a tutorial for this one. I was actually saying before that uh, I like the way that this one does it because it just sort of teaches you as you go. But I think there are just some things that are either missing or not quite implemented yet. Stuff like that. Hey, everyone's pretty fit. Or that just hasn't been thoroughly explained yet. So... Students in the school automatically rush to take the examination schedule. You can click Click on the Imperial exam button in the lower right corner to view the examination status. Yeah, but there just isn't any students. I'm not sure why. It was still funny in context. Yeah. This is true. This is certainly true. Okay. Winter has ended. These people are angry for some reason. Man, it's hard to click on these people. I think you... You can click on some people, but seemingly not others? I don't really know how that works. They're angry about something, though, I guess. Unvaried diet, I get. Wait, did we get... The pickle shop... Guys, relax. The pickle shop is under construction. You will have all the pickles your hearts desire. In but a short moment. We got Country Road again. Gee, that came around again quickly, didn't it? I swear I was just singing that song. Have some pickles in Chow They're so tasty. I like pickles. Oh, you can get policies? Relief fund. There we go. Boom. Active. Farmhouse, stone well, stone road, I'm not gonna use that. Um, sure. Let's just increase some basic happiness. Um, is it be I was gonna say, is it because they're not close enough to houses? But they are. They're right next to houses. Hmm. Oh, no one lives in these mansions. It's possible that they can't afford to. I don't remember how the, um, the housing works. Like if you have to have lower tier housing or not. Add a bunch in just in case. See if that helps. Man, we're still low on coal. We have everything else. Official kill. When we reach 600. Okay, that's probably not going to happen. 
Hmm, and I still haven't figured this out either. Uh, wait. Oh, what is that? No, oh, it's just okay. That's that. Is there just no one working there? Are there just no good Buddhists left in this in this world? Criminals are back. Let's do that. The transaction. Do we just sell 500 of those? 100 of those or whatever? I don't know. We still got a blessing. Hmm. Unsure.jpg. We're not moving in, actually. Is it? Do we need more? I mean, that's the happiest you're ever gonna be. That that number right there. It is quite nice. They still. They don't like the taxation. Well. Deal with it. Rockery, Peony, Archway. Can we get... Do the Archways... Are they just... It looks like they're just separate structures. Yeah, they just sort of... Sit there. Sure. Let's build an Archway there. That's not a waste of resources at all. And then build a mansion next to it. I guess. I'm building all these mansions, but I'm not convinced I can actually put anyone in them. Because these still say 0 out of 17. I've got for you. Important stuff, actually. You need to go talk to Lord Rugdum. Is he going to tell me how to put these kids through school? I seem to be at an impasse. I don't really want to just build another school. Because that doesn't feel like that's going to do anything. Uh, food are wasted. Pay attention to the structure, the granary, and the transport distance. Okay. Hmm. I think we need more vegetables. We need a balanced diet. Let's build some farms through there. And then houses, maybe? I mean, things are looking pretty good. Like, I'm really liking most of this but I'm just a little confused by some of the things that I have to do at the moment we've still got 10 years left so we'll make it I would imagine but I don't know let's get a hunter's cabin Two of them, in fact. Do we need that? Probably not. Assume grains. You know what? Let's get some more grains so that we can get more alcohol. So that we can deal with all the problems that life faces. Life, um, that we face in life. That's what I'm trying to say. Tavern. John, John. You seem to be in a decline of sorts. Is Chol Chol going to be okay? Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna say yes. Everything is going to be absolutely fine. I swear. Still no one moving into these mansions that I've built. 
the pickle shop is built, so hopefully people are... Oh yeah, that actually genuinely did feel, fix the um, unvaried diet. However, we have people whinging about, I'm probably saying the two criminals again. I don't know how to fix this when we have a whole bunch of people that are supposed to go around and fix that. Introduce capital punishment. Maybe that's a button. <laughs> Anyone breaks the law, you're dead. Things are looking so good otherwise, but I just... I don't know how I'm supposed to get this one to work. I don't know if it's like... I wonder if it's a case of the school year's already started... And we have to wait for the 16 month timer to complete so that we can start the next school year? That might make sense. Oh, we need even more veggies. Oh, jeez. We're already out of... Oh, okay. It's actually kind of expensive. Vegetables and grain. Getting plenty of stuff here. Oh, that is the end of season. Yeah, we're running out of wood. Keep running out of wood now. More like the justice system on that world in SG1, where if you commit a crime, you are sent off world for life. I was thinking of um, of uh, TNG, Rubicon, the Edo, where they uh, they ex they try and execute uh, old Will Wheaton for landing in a flower bed. And honestly, that would have been a far better ending. <laughs> if only. Alright, let's just speed it up real quick. So that we can get through. Have we got more research we can do now? Increases the capacity of shacks. Okay, we don't really need that, though. Oh, this just recruit... Uh, re reduces... The amount that it costs to build those things. Oh, you know what? Let's do that, actually. Let's increase the yield of farmland. <coughs> um, let's get another lumber camp. for some reason? Oh, okay. Okay, how long has this school year got left? 13 months still. Zero students paid respect to Confucius. Does that mean I need a Confucius thing? 
surely not. Confucius. Have five schools. By paying respects before taking exams, they can increase their chance of success. The success. Oh, look, I've a lack of uh, any idea what else to do. I'm just going to build a bunch more schools. And see if that has any effect. And I'm going to get rid of this. And rebuild it. Somewhere else. Oh, I also just realized they might not have... Um, they might not have water over here. When was the last time I looked at water? Yeah, they don't have any water down here. <clears throat> that might have been a little bit of a... a bit of the old mistake there. Uh, I will have to rebuild that school, though. Go there. And we want a stone well. Yeah. And then... Another stone well. And then maybe just a house to fill the gap. Just a shack. <sighs> Alright, well, we've got no students at any of our schools, but we are building three more. So I'm sure that is going to solve all of our problems and not create any more. I'm very confident. I'm going to get another lump cabin over here as well. <clears throat> Why are these people angry? Taxation, I guess. Look, guys, if you want to have a city to live in, you got to just stuff us some taxes, all right? Man, we have so many... we got so many houses that just aren't filled. <laughs> I think we should just stop building houses altogether. I think that's probably a good idea. These ones are full. I don't know if they were before, but these ones down here are empty. Oh, we're one away. <coughs> Excuse me. We're one away from hitting that 500 pop cap that we're aiming towards. Six months until school's out, or until they've done their last exams, I think. And then I'm hoping that we can get, that that means we can get more people in. Oh, we're actually running out of clay. That's the first time that's happened. Yeah, right. That's the only clay mine we have, isn't it? There's clay there. Is that the only available clay? Other than all the way over there. Yowza! Okay, well, I guess we're building a clay mine all the way over here. Luckily, we already do have some sort of a road through here that we built for the, um, the quarry. And we've got a little estate down here, which has seen people move into it. So I should probably give them like a, a bazaar though, because they probably don't have access to food. <laughs> Let's get an aroma arena. Let's get it. Let's get a... I know you meant well. And I suppose there was no need to put your life on the line for a stranger. Yeah, that's right. How dare you. There we go. Do all that. That's a stone well. Okay, cool. Two months. 
Did we build all of the schools yet? <clears throat> Saloon. Ooh. Can't get that yet. Uh, is it civil? Hey, Confucius. We can build Confucius now. There we go. Uh, you know what? We really need a road through here as well. People keep walking through there. And then we'll move that to a better spot. Areas accessible? Come on now. Don't be unreasonable. Alright, we have the population expansion. The new this the new year the new school year has started and there's still no one in any of our schools. I don't know how to do anything about it. Oh yes, we're gonna do that. We need to get more constables out. I know I was gonna be I was kinda of going for this. But I need to deal with all these thieves. Must be a good year to be born. Yeah, look at all the people. Man, I just I don't know. I don't know how to get the school. I don't know how to get the, um... Oh, can't afford them? Wait, is that costing that much every time I click that? Sticker invite. I don't know what any of that means. Wait, are they, like, not doing anything yet? Work. Oh my goodness, they weren't doing anything before? Well, I guess they're doing something now? Um, help. Okay, here we go. Can we get, can we get help? With school. Alright. Vagrants are sent to schools if any exist in town. Becoming students and heading for imperial exam through the post roads. When exam time rolls around, schools earn research points based on the student total, which can be spent, which can be spent to which can spent to speed up hmm, the research of new technologies. So we need vagrants. How do we get vagrants? Is that in here? This is her. Hmm, where are vagrants? What do vagrants look like? Basic indicators? Okay. Alright, well, we know what we need now. Or residents. How do we get vagrants? Is there one of these that will allow us to have vagrants? Uh, look like it. No. These are all just residents. Passengers tracks a lot of tourists and dignitaries. I don't know. I don't know how to get vagrants.
I remember seeing the word somewhere at some point. But I don't remember... Where it was. Is it in this list? Coal Stoker. Butch Marine Ship. No, it doesn't look like it. Is it in this list? Oh, it's right there. It's It says right there. How do we get Vagrants? Is it when we don't have enough houses? Google it. I don't think I'm going to find anything, but I'm going to Google it. Because we're like, we're so close to getting what we want. To get vagrant. I'm assuming it won't have anything. Because this is a new small indie game. about different games with the name. Oh, we have one Vagrant. Now he's gone. Yeah, I think it's when we have too many houses, maybe. So I think we actually have to demolish a bunch of these um, mansions, which is very sad. Let's replace them with Pickle shops. Uh, we'll replace them with farms, I think. How much food have we got? We need more vegetables. We need more meat, actually, is what we really need. So... Oh, we're out of clay? Let's just say it ain't so. Oh, did I not build the... I guess I couldn't, originally. I just destroyed three houses, like three mansions. The place is on fire. God damn it. Which one is it? Civil for a fire tower? I know I should have built a fire tower ages ago, but I didn't. <coughs> They've already put it out. Never mind. I didn't need the fire tower. The uh, amount of houses didn't go down when I destroyed a whole bunch of mansions. Okay. Let's just speed it up real quick. Does that mean that I've like, I've kind of screwed myself over a bit because of how many how many um, houses I built? Oh right, that's yeah, nothing can go there because it's not farmland, not fertile. Let's just wait for another ranch. Everyone's pretty happy. I could probably use some better health. Well, it has taken a long time to get clay. I think it might be... to do with the, um... all the kilns we built. I've done it now. 
jade vine, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know if we can get vagrants. Until we get, like, people over the top of our housing. Oh, we did just suddenly get a bunch more people in. Prison. More constables. Alright, what else do they want? Oh yeah, health. I was, I was just saying that I was going to put more health stuff in. An apothecary. And maybe a funeral home. Apothecary. Okay, no. Maybe not a funeral home. Guest house? Uh, we're up to 550. Okay, so it is going up. It is going up. Just need to wait for that to go up. Um, maybe if we just build like a bunch of guest houses. Basic tourism. Security. Oh gee, we're um our money's not the best. Maybe we'll get uh another theatre or an inn or something. Let's go to Thespians Inn. I don't think we've got one of those down. Stop taking my clay! Just let me build the damn thing. I think we have one down this way yet. Five sixty-nine. It's getting there. Just don't build houses. That. Don't know if I need it, but I'm gonna build it anyway. Oh wow, we've got like no money. Did I spend it on something? I'm gonna up the tax. Oh, I haven't unlocked it. Oh, I can't. people coming in. We don't have any meat. I did try and get a bunch more things that would get us meat, but seemingly still lacking meat. We get another ranch. Yes, we can. <coughs> Are people working at the ranch? Yes, they are. 585. It's gonna be another midnight stream. Damn it. It wasn't supposed to be a midnight stream.
Look at this bustling little city, though. Look at this thriving city, you might say. See what I did there? Put the name of the game in there. Nailed it. Uh, economy buildings, I guess. We just want more... I guess we want more tourism? This unlocks at 600. The saloon. There's something else that unlocks at 600 as well. Oh, the official kiln. Okay, well, we mainly need the saloon, I think. Oh, we... Adam, we can get capital punishment. We exile serious criminals, those sentenced to over three years, brought into custody. This also increases basic grievances, however. Yeah, I don't know if that's what we want. But we we literally <laughs> do it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't need the uh, the basic grievances. Oh, we just ran out of money. How did that happen? I would, I, I would do it if we'd, um, if we weren't just, like, trying to beeline this thing that we're doing. Unvaried diet. Are we out of pickles? Is that what the problem is? Oh, affluent city. Okay, 603. So that means we get the next thing, which is the saloon. 150 stone! Wowzer! Don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. We keep running out of money. Like... Oh my goodness, surely we're taxing enough. Alright, guess we just get a normal inn then. What is that? Is that saying that we're out of money? Is that what that is? I think so. Our money, our money is running low. I can't tax any higher though. Policy. Gives an annual bonus to all locals. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of one of these because I think that is what is running us out of money. Heavy tax is what we need. <laughs> So I've stopped giving the homeless money. Hopefully that will resolve our problems. Oh, look at all that money we just got. Wowzers. Suddenly we have a lot of money. <laughs> Who'd have thought when we're not giving the homeless money, we have more. really just need to be focusing on economy, I think. Where is our other theatre? There's one over there. Maybe we'll just build another theatre down here. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, we're at pop cap. So theoretically, now we start getting vagrants. And then we send them to school. If that doesn't work, I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
It seems like a little bit of an awkward system to have to do to get this to work. We need more alcohol. But hopefully, hopefully it just works. Okay, let's get some taverns. Just three taverns in a row. Why not? Just Tavern Street. Man, that tax goes just fluctuates so much. Uh, insufficient housing, unable to accept more people. Okay. Or do we just do we just stop? Do we just stop getting more people because we've reached cap? Because there were like a few moments where we saw a vagrant appear and then they disappeared. And I just hoped that it was because we were at, like, that they came in and then they were like, Oh, no, there's a house for me, so let's go live in a house. I'm just going to run it for a little bit longer to see if this changes. And then if it doesn't, we will just have to wrap up. Well, I mean, we have to wrap up soon anyway. It's literally almost midnight. Was that another blessing? Is that what that was? Oh, the academy spree. Almost kiln. Nah, I didn't care about that really. Sure, let's do that. My vagrants are not going up. Oh, there was one vagrant for a second, and now it's gone. Oh, we have five vagrants, and now they're gone. Five, and now they're gone. Is that because they're going to school? Are they going to school, and I just haven't realized? Doesn't look like it. One vagrant, gone. We have 621 people, but only 619 houses. I don't know. There's, there needs to be tooltips. There just needs to be tooltips. Like, there's, um, there's the help section. Oh, what does that do? But, in here, there isn't... I didn't see anything that says... Vagrant, unless there's like something specific. Uh, unless there's like somewhere else in here. So information, no. Weather, gentle policy, name. What about the bottom one? Visitor. No. Fire. Firefighting. Irrigation. Job assignment. So it's got a thing there. That doesn't really. No. Material review. No. Storage. No. Tax. No. Pay. Back pay. Central loan. Personal loan. This is not helping. Death. Prime. Prison Academy. Knowledge. Policy School. Examination. Talent Office. You know what? That's probably why I don't have any money, because I've got all those people. Military orders. Uh, I've 
read through like almost all of these and I still can't see anything. Yep, dunno. Dunno! I don't know, I don't know how you get a vagrant. I think that's unfortunately a sad place we will have to end the stream. Pretty strong, for sure. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're at an impasse. It's... We're at an impasse that <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be a solution for that I can see. Uh, every now and then we get a couple vagrants and they just disappear. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Unfortunately, that is where we'll have to leave it. It's a shame, because things were going really well. Wait, why does it just say Chol? It's supposed to be Chol Chol, thank you very much. There we go, Chol Chol, we did it. There, fixed. I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm really enjoying this game, but I just, man, I just need to know. Tertius Favonius, Ramana and me have set up housekeeping. <laughs> She's a real doll, isn't she? I'm sorry? Yeah, well, that was a bit of an extended stream. I was hoping that I could finish that mission uh, before we before we had to wrap up, but yeah, unfortunately, I just can't figure out how to get vagrants. I don't I don't know how it works. Uh, uh, but you know, I still still definitely really enjoy that game. It just needs a little bit more just needs to be fleshed out a little bit more and it needs to be a little bit clearer um it's still in early access so you know all those things will come but uh, mostly it's fine you stayed 15 minutes past your finishing time tonight yes that, that's right yep 15 minutes I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, yeah, I, I, I still want to play that game a little bit more because I'm really enjoying it. Um, I just need to figure out, yeah, how to get past that, that thing there. I, I just don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know how. I might look into it off stream or something, try and figure it out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And... I'll do a quick run through of the schedule. Adam's put it in the um, in the chat there, but I'll just quickly run through it. Tomorrow, no stream. Thursdays, no streams anymore, so I'll be uh, just taking the night off there. So everyone relax, kick back, and uh, you won't have to listen to me complain about vagrants all night. Um, then we have Friday. We're going to be playing. Hopefully, should be back with Aaron with some Halo Infinite co-stream finishing off that campaign, working towards finishing it off. Uh, then we have Saturday. Uh, no stream again. We normally would have a stream, but I'm going away for my birthday weekend, and I'm not going to be back for the Saturday. I'll be back for Friday, but not Saturday. Uh, and then, instead, we're having a makeup stream where I put on lots of makeup, no, uh, where I make up for the stream on Sunday. Uh, we're going to be playing Starship Troopers Extermination, the game, the Starship Troopers game that we played a week or so ago and had a great time playing. Uh, so we're going to be playing that 
for four hours. Seven till eleven. It's going to be one of the the biggest streams that we'd usually have on a Saturday. Have it on the Sunday instead, and playing. Uh, we're not playing the normal Saturday game because I don't want to back and forth it too much, especially since we just moved that from the Thursday and then we'd be moving around. It's just going to be a just a one shot of um, Starship Troopers. Uh, and then Sunday we have Monday. We're back uh, with some XCOM Enemy Unknown. That's going really well. That playthrough, sort of ish. We're not dead, okay? So that's really well in my box. Also, we have like a whole bunch more Reddit recruits. We have like five or six new Reddit recruits, I think. So we're gonna get in a whole bunch of new people and cycle them into missions, which is gonna and and I do mean that they will be riding in on a bicycle. That's what I mean by cycling in new recruits. At least I wish I could do that, because that would be hilarious. And then we've got Tuesday, Fallout 3. I did many, many hours of optimizing the mods to get that game working even better than it was last time. The water exists now, and it looks way better. Um, and a few of the other things look a little better. As soon as you change anything, like, everything just breaks, so it took me literally hours upon hours to resolve all of the issues, and there's still a couple issues, uh, but mostly it seems to be fairly functional, so we'll be back in that uh, now that we've killed everyone on Point Lookout. We'll probably do some potentially main quest stuff or something. We'll see what we do. Um, and then, of course, Wednesday will be USC Counterforce. It's a new indie game. Um, for, it's a it's a, it's an XCOM like. So we're going to be playing XCOM on the Monday, and then uh, an indie version of an XCOM game on the Wednesday, which will hopefully be pretty good. But yeah, that's it. That's the stream. A makeout stream? Yeah, yeah. Sunday will be a makeout stream. I'm just all night. It won't be weird. It'll be weird. Alright, let's do a raid. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I really need to go to bed. Drongo's playing Skyrim. We should, uh, we should go over. Thing. It's not. It couldn't be. Um, yeah, he's playing Skyrim. I don't know when... I don't know if I've ever seen him doing Skyrim, so I'm sure he has done it before, but jump in, jump in the raid, uh, go say hi to Drongo. I think he's doing a permadeath run, if I remember seeing the, the, the heading a little while ago. So man, that's going to be wild. Go over and give him some love and I'll see you guys, not tomorrow, I'll see you guys on Friday for some Halo Infinite with Aaron, or next week, for some USC Counterforce, the XCOM-like game. Thanks for watching, sorry for the extra long stream, or maybe you're welcome, I don't know, depends how you sit on that threshold. Anyway, ta -ra!